first run. Um, pretty happy with that. No issues at all, really. Oh, I shouldn't say that. There's a couple of little small details that need to be taken care of. The first time we pushed it out, we didn't record it, but it, um, it fired up straight away, uh, which was very pleasing. And the only reason I shut it down is uh, it was a bit laggy on the oil pressure. So I wasn't sure if this gauge was working, so I didn't run it for very long at all with no oil pressure, well, indicating. So we pushed it in the workshop and I checked the wiring and it checked out okay and the sender was okay. It turned out I just needed to run it for another few seconds and the oil pressure came up, but it was still good to check that. So I've got oil pressure now. Um, it had been sitting empty for months, so I guess it, uh, it needed to fill all the galleries up again, although we didn't take any of that, the oil cooler off. Anyway, it's all got all pressure now, everything's working. The only thing that's not working is the Jabiru Magneto is not working. Mine is, the electronic on that side. So that, I sh I'll investigate what's going on there. What else? So that switch you saw me flicking there, this is the, the, the blue LED. That's the thermofan uh, manual switch. So that's the fan on, and that's the fan off. Uh, the water pump, the 150 litre water pump comes on with the uh, master switch. That's gone now. Um, I assume these are my landing lights, my uh, landing gear lights. I've only got one working, so I'll see why that one's not working. Uh, I don't know what its state was when it came in, so I'll investigate that. I've got to look at the undercarriage anyway, because it's got... Uh... But outside of that, yeah, spot on. That's not a bad first run though, good. Alright, so uh, working on um, Spitfire's undercarriage, found a problem here. We've got a little pin there, a, um, a pad, that as the mechanism rotates on the gear, it's designed to hit that micro switch there. But what was happening was that, that, um, that pin there, or that actuator, which is hitting the, supposed to hit the contact of the micro switch. Um, unlike the one next to it, which has got a nice broad, let's see if I can get that to focus on what I want, not there, yeah, see there? See the one on the top there, that's got a nice pad on it, the top of the um, countersunk cap screw. But the one closest to the back, or closest to the camera, you see it doesn't have that pad on it. And as a result, it's skidding on the back side, on the wrong side of that pin there. Um, and so it's missing the, the breaker altogether. It's getting jammed along the side there. So that's quite an easy fix. I do have to pull the breaker off because it's just cracked the housing there. I'm gonna fix that, that won't be a problem. And um, I'll use some uh, some carbon rovings and just bind that so it doesn't, the cover's not broken completely, there's a crack there. It's working all right. 
And that's because the pin was jamming in where my finger is. The pin was jamming right in there, pushing it sideways. So all you need to do is adjust that, put a pad on it so that it's got a broader um, base, particularly this way. And then um, that, uh, that will fix that. So I'm gonna take these micro switches out now. I could even put a space, when I take that switch out, I might even put a spacer between that one and that one so that one comes out a bit further. Maybe three millimetres would do it. Actually, no, that's not what I want. I've got to go the other way. So yeah, I've got to move that across towards me this way. All right, anyway, we'll deal with that and we can fix that. And then my plan is with the breakers, the circuit breakers down there, you can see it says uh, port undercarriage and starboard undercarriage. So what I found was if you overloaded them, particularly the port side one, the breaker would pop. Now the cheat sheet says to just keep resetting it and if necessary, let it cool down. I'm really worried about that being standard procedure because eventually what's gonna happen is the circuit breaker is gonna overheat and fail one day and then you're gonna have nothing. Now I've been through the system, it looks well lubricated and it moves freely. So I believe that seven and a half, seven and a half amps probably not enough for that circuit and uh, whether it is or isn't um, forcing the breaker shut is problematic because it, it it's uh, overheating so what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the amperage on both of the breakers for each of the left and right gear I'll take care of that and I'll take care of the mechanical side here also so that'll be fine 